Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing! I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst! Wash, do the dog. <laughs> Washington. Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon, the one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. <laughs> It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh -huh. Beware the were-fox. Enjoy the red fox moon, everyone. Were-fox? What does that even mean? Oh, boy. Let's have a red fox moon party. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get the moon food. Here comes the moon fire. Here comes the moon food. I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website. The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red How moon tonight. Hope we don't see any were foxes. <laughs> were fox? Can someone please explain? Oh yeah, you've never heard of a were fox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Huh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. Come on, guys. You don't actually believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh! <laughs> what timing! I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do you say? We'll be right back! <laughs> you gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe yes. <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You, you're drooling! <laughs> A little bit too salty. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay, drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, party 
people, we're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those boom tubes. Where foxes are scary. Sam, enough! I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting and scratching beast! Come on! Seriously! I told you everything is fine! Nothing is going to happen! It's happening! Itchy scratching beast! No, 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 Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Howl! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. And cool outfit, by the way. You like to bark? You're gonna scream. Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner werefox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the moon is turning more and more red. Second. <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're a crazy twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh yes, yes, we have to hide it's you. Almost that time. Oh boy, I can't wait! Hey, where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. <laughs> ah! Ah! Come on! You don't want to miss it. Oops, Take sorry, away Vic. From the red box moon, everyone. Ten. Sorry again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five. Hide your cat because wait, what? The red moon Hide is your coming. cat? That means it's
But hey, I guess you were. <gasps> Wait, my costume! <laughs> Is everyone okay? <gasps> arr, 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 arr. Good boy, Washington! You chased off that werefox, didn't you? My pictures on TV! That's my hubby! I don't know. Something tells me that that's a dog in a very good costume. Are they saying I'm an idiot? I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Look at it, Sam. <gasps> Leftovers from lunch. What do you think it is this time? Cool. Greasy. Stinky. Delicious. Delicious. Happy Hungry with the brand new noodle box you can take with you anywhere you want. <gasps> My head. What is that horrific noise? <laughs> <laughs> Gracie and Alfie, the worst. What was that about? I don't know. <laughs> A toy xylophone, the worst of the worst. can't take their human food? If that happens, then we get the bad boy! Bad boy! Bad boy! Oh, right. Leftovers are a special gift that the humans give us for being good boys. If we start snatching stuff, we'll be denied treats forever. Forever? Forever! The only way we're gonna get our teeth into that delicious treat is by behaving ourselves and being good boys. Good boy! Good yeah. boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! <gasps> I'm a good boy! Yay for you! Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Being a good boy makes my face hurt! <laughs> Stupid kids! Never had a clue what happened! <laughs> That means we get to run around like crazy and make lots of noise. It's a free pass freak out! Yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Meow! Arf, woof, arf! What? Bunnies don't get to make excited sounds like you guys, so I made some up. Children. Mrs. Appleton, uh, what brings you over? Uh, Mrs. Livingstone, I. Your music toy is lost, sweetheart. No, mommy, I want Let's it. Let's get out of here. Normally, I would. 
wouldn't ask you, but could you watch Gracie and Alfie for an hour, please? It's an emergency. <clears throat> oh, uh, well, yes, of course. They're really sweet kids. You remember. <sighs> <laughs> They just love your cat. Victoria, right? Don't let them eat nuts or dairy or anything pink. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm sure my old toys are here somewhere. Oh, no. Alfie and Gracie. Wait. This should be good. Good boys. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> The Painbot 3000! Keeping them occupied. Let's not disturb them for an hour. Come on, let's sneak out of the room. Sam, this is it. It is? Wait, what is it? It's a test, don't you see? If we help the elves with the kids, they'll see we're good boys, and they'll have to reward us with a box of leftovers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Washington, are you sure about this? Uh huh. <laughs> These leftovers are gonna taste all the more delicious once we're done with these sweet little angels! Sam, is all this worth some leftovers? Let me think about that. Mm... Yes! Welcome to Gracie's hair salon! Hey! Or maybe not. Run! Uh, you have to hide me. Victoria, is that some sort of game? Yes, yes, just do it now. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely. Oh, another round? Ah! Ah! 
in here. Wait, there's something in the way. Okay, clear. Hey, what's that? My music toy. Huh? And stay calm. This will be over in no time. Wow, what good girls. Good <laughs> girls. <laughs> the the leftovers? Oh, that must be Mrs. Appleton. <sighs> We're saved. I got them exactly what they wanted. Oh, thank you for watching the kids. Well, actually, we... Daddy! Oh, you guys found it. Well, now we have to double the music. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Alfie? Kitty! <laughs> there you are. I told you he loves your cat. When I split them up, he'll freak. Oh, why tear them apart? <laughs> sure. We'll come get Vic later when the kids are asleep. And quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Come on, kids. <laughs> oh, one last thing. I have some leftovers. Would anyone want any? <laughs> well, you guys have been very good boys today, haven't you? Haven't you? Uh, <laughs> you think we were living with a couple of wild animals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Ah, feel that breeze? Not really. No, our first date. <laughs> Oh, sorry to disturb. We were just admiring your mangy fur. How do you do it? A special shampoo? Or maybe an ugly brush? <laughs> we're doomed! The living stones will get rid of us! We're gonna get kicked out of the house for sure! No reason to panic. I know. All we have to do is order new costumes. Yeah? What? How? On the magic screen with all the little buttons. The elves order stuff on it all the time. You mean a computer? Yeah, that's what I said. So, who's the expert, huh? Now, all we have to do is order. Error. Please try again. <laughs> error. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. It's here! Hey! Take care of this, would you, Vic? Watch where you... <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll just go ahead and take care of these. Uh, we... we 
messed up the order. I've never seen anything like this in the forest. They're awesome! <laughs> we do look pretty cool, don't we? You sure this doesn't make me look too fat? Yeah. Hey, what kind of animals are you anyway? The wild. Uh, what if they're wild animals? <laughs> Ridiculous! Just think about it. If these were wild animals, we would have known them in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Mr. Computer Expert messed up his order. Ha! I can reorder the right ones in five seconds. No problemo. Hey guys, we're home. Quick, we gotta put the old costumes back on. Where are they, Vic? You said take care of them, so I took care of them. They're in the trash. What? Oh yeah, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Vic, you gotta get them back. From the dumpster? Vic, please. There's no way I'm going to dirty my fur twice in the same day. If washed... <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry, honey. You know them. They can't be far. You two stay here, okay? Sam and I are going to get our costumes. <laughs> huh? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> What's gotten into? <gasps> it's the garbage truck. <laughs> What's going on? It seems like everyone's scared of us. Of us? Do I really look scary in this thing? Scary? Nah, more like ridiculous. <sighs> Come on. Discover Stash Paste new product by Criminus Lab. With Stash Paste by Criminus Lab, forget about your old life. The new one will be hairy and fairy. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. I absolutely <laughs> need one. <laughs> Ooh, a documentary on exotic animals living in far-off lands? I'm in. Did you see that? Wash is a lion! Shh, look! These far-flung corners of the globe are inhabited by strange animals. This nocturnal mammal who lives in the savannas of Africa... It's never me! Yikes! How ugly is that thing? I can't even look at it! The aardvark returns to its burrow before sunrise and before the lion has uttered his first roars of the day. <laughs> Wush, I really think it's us everyone's afraid of. Of course not. They're scared of the driver. Meanwhile, thousands of kilometers from the Savannah Plains, the Cobra Moth flutters carefree through what? the jungle. Hey, that's me. This African butterfly is about to commit a fatal error. It is going to brush its large wings against the whiskers of a Bengal tiger. And that's Sam about to attack you! Sam, they're going to arrest him. Like every day, the Babarusas are playing in the mud. Breaking news, brought to you by Stash Pace, a criminous product. We interrupt this program to bring you the highly coincidental news that exotic animals from far-off lands have invaded our city. Huh? It's Wash and Sam. The question on everyone's mind at this hour, can these stunning beasts be tamed and turned into household pets? What do the experts have to say? Uh, no. But that means Sam and Wash might be sent far, far away. Uh, we gotta do something. Uh, ah! <laughs> okay, let's go, quick. Row, 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 row. Phew, that was 
eyes closed. This is gonna be your turn, coward! Hey, over here! Oh! The vet? What's he doing here? Maybe he's gonna stop the truck with that. Wash, I don't think he's trying to stop the truck. I don't always agree with you, but for once, I think you're right. Quick, we're heading for the botanical garden. Team. Yeah! That's the unmistakable roar of a tiger. They can't be caught. I bet Sam and Wash are in there. You stay here. I'll go. Come on, you coward. It's up to you, Vladimir. Guys! Susie! Susie. Are you nuts? The vet will send us back to the forest. The forest? With those costumes, he's gonna send you to the jungle. Not fun for a boy and a fox. Quick, Eugenie's waiting for us. <laughs> a fox and a wild boar? <laughs> the things you find in botanical gardens these days. Wait a sec, those are wild animals. Shouldn't we return them to the forest? Are you kidding? We're looking for a lion and a tiger. That's a million times more exciting. Are you sure you're okay, Vladimir? It can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Our costumes aren't in here. We're done for. Game over. <laughs> Sammy! While you guys were in the garden distracting them, I got to the truck and grabbed our disguises. All part of your plan. Right, Washington? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, guys. Did, did you see that hangry lion and that vicious tiger? Chill, guys. We scared them away. Huh? <laughs> Do you smell this? It smells like garbage. We still have bear spots on our costumes. Oh. Rats, we can't order new costumes now. Mr. L's on his computer. Hmm? <laughs> Hello, it's me, the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Where are the pets? We're going to scare them. What in the world is that? The stash paste. The stash what? The stash paste. Uh -huh. They put it everywhere on my toys, on the pillows, and even on me. They like it a lot. Come on, let's go. Be generous. Hey, they're in the kitchen. Hello, furry. Meow. Oh. Yeah. Arf, arf. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Victoria. Yeah. Why isn't she angry at us? <laughs> Victoria? Uh... Hey, Vic. What's wrong? Hey, Vic. Vicky. 
fixed her? Hey! Hey! What's going on? Are you okay? Why aren't you getting angry at us? confused about who we're calling. The vet. I didn't want to say it in front of the pets. You know how they hate the vet. Remember what happened last time. Oh. 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 Yeah, right. Not a good day. Uh, I have the flu. Leave me alone. You poor thing. Sorry and stuff. If I could just sneeze, I might feel a little better. Ooh, the flu? Hmm. I never get the flu. Never. Never? The second I get a sniffle, I just do an old forest anti-flu ritual, and that's it. Flu gone. Here. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, cha, choo. 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 Wild animals only, not for sensitive house pets like Vic. It could overtake her. You're right. Uh, Who knows what could happen? Uh, Let me think. Who? Uh, oh, uh, oh, food. Uh, uh, food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> It's the vet. Uh, the vet? Uh, uh, Phew! Not a good day. Susie, it's up to you. Uh, Doc? Yes? It's our cat, Victoria. I think she's got the flu. Normally, I'd bring her in, but she's just so weak. Could you possibly swing by our place and check on her? Well, keep her hydrated and watch her closely for the next couple hours. If she's not any better, then I guess I'll come right over. I should probably give the rest of your animals a once-over, too. <laughs> ew! 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 Germs! Ew! Gross! <laughs> Who's ever heard of a vet being afraid of germs? Well, Doc, you do sound busy. I'll uh, keep you posted. The vet will be over very soon if Vic's not feeling better. How long do we have? Do you know? Uh, a couple of hours, I think. Or was it a few minutes? Well, one of those. And guess what? If he comes, he's checking all of us. <clears throat> we gotta keep him out of here. Way too risky. You mean... He could give us shots? Or clean our ears? Or use the thermometer again? Yeah. Huh? Or find our zippers? <gasps> yeah, exactly. Gasp! And if that happens, we're back out in the wild. So we gotta get Vic better. Got it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Great news, Vic. Nurse Washington and his team are here to get you well. This patient needs a cold cloth. Water! 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 Hmm. This patient needs ice. Ice! 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 ice. Ouch! Oops. So cold! The patient needs warmth. Thank you. Wow, gotta say, Vic, you look better already. Right, Sam? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job, guys. High five, <laughs> all around. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 
Does this mean we can have our food now? Oh no, Vic! You're not supposed to wrap yourself in blankets when you're sick! You'll get a fever! Ah! <gasps> Honey! Vic has gotten worse! You'd better call the vet and tell him to come over right away! Mm -hmm. No, we can't get our food now. Hello. Uh, hi, Doc. We've been watching Vic, but she's not getting any better. My wife just burned her finger on her fur. Fine. I'm coming now. He's on the way. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Ah! No. I'm here to help make the sick go away. Why don't you go away? I have something really important to say that I think will really help. Okay, here goes. If you don't get better, can I have all your yarn balls? How does that help me? I thought it would motivate you to get better. Uh, 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 if I could just sneeze. Chili peppers, of course! Mm -hmm. I mean, chili peppers to sneeze. Great! I bet that'll clear her up. Seems risky, but it's our only option. Our ancient forest anti-flu ritual. Well, Washington, we can't. What choice do we have? We gotta try something. The vet'll be here any second. Oh, the vet? How come nobody told me the vet was coming? I can't do the thermometer. Uh -huh. Washington, please do your forest magic. It's my only hope. Hmm. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, choo. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, choo. All together. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, choo. 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 Wow. Well, I hope he's coming soon. We have a situation right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I can breathe again! Wow! Now I won't get the thermometer thanks to you guys! <coughs> Thank goodness you're here! She's like a limp little rag! There she is, Doctor! <laughs> so, nose dryness, good elasticity, hmm, right, tongue flexibility, perfect. Is this some kind of joke? This feline is fit as a fiddle. Wow, you are sickly. <laughs> So sick, in fact, your fur looks almost like a costume. I better get my thermometer and take his temperature. Oh, the humanity! I'm freaking out! Glad it's not me. Hi, Ch Hi, Ch uh. Uh. Ah. Ah. Yes, yes, your dog is definitely sick. Ew, ew, gross, germs, ew! Just give it one of these every four hours. <laughs> ew, gross, ew! Forget my number! Bye, Doctor! Send us the bill! What a great vet! Coming all the way out here? That's a professional at work. Hi, Cha! Hi, Cha! Hi, Cha! I mean, cha just look at hi, Washington. Cha, He's cha, better hi, already. Cha, hi, Cha! Hi, Cha! Hi, Cha! Choo! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go buy a cake to celebrate! 
That was close. The forest anti-flu ritual works every time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, most of the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's that? If you can't beat him, join him. Shh! Don't make a peep. A little more to the right. Guys, are you sure we should be doing this? It's okay, Susie. It's not human food. It's just pet treats. <laughs> The best ever pet treats. Yep, this is it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Whoa! It's it's a, a baby, baby bear. bear. Yes! <laughs> that means he's not dangerous, right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. 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 Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Oh, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> show me. <laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more. Not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Wrong way. Mm. Help me! No! Oh, I sorry, I mean. Ah, now I'm thirsty. You guys have a lake I can drink? What? what? Ah. Why? What is why? This. What you're doing. We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> <sighs> yep, sure 
sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, hey, Mitch, you know, Vic is a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. <laughs> she doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. <laughs> out of here. And it's all our fault. <laughs> we should have left more food for him. Baby's going on a growth spurt. Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. <laughs> Come on, Bush, you're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. It's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony, together. I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck, it leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it, and together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house, except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Me. Uh, help me. <laughs> oh, no. no! You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild, dummies. And if you don't, I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats? Or butt scratches or tummy rubs. Isn't there anything we can do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait. Tear costumes off. It's a chance we'll have to take. Hungry. Oh, oh, I forgot I ate it all. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! 
Uh, what are you? Ouch! Oh, you're really gonna get it now, you stupid. <laughs> so fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it! Oh. <laughs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're gonna take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My favorite time of the year! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the sunscreen! <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up, Vic? Oh, don't you know? It's summer vacation. The oh, elves no. and I go away every year, and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Mm, relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. Ew! An all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going too, right? Of course! You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? Look, the pets are all lined up and ready to roll. Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh, huh? the kennel! That's right! The vet said to arrive by noon. The k k k k kennel The vet? The Livingstones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets. It is for <gasps> pets. The elves are leaving us there. That could be fun. Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is his! <gasps> what? I didn't say we were going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. You'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, Yay. scratched, massaged. We can't get groomed! They'll see our zippers. Wait, wait! What about the all-you-can-eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go! <gasps> oh! What has gotten into you, pets? Come on, guys, we're gonna be late for vacation! Huh? <laughs> I'll take Victoria in for her first spa 
paw treatment. But you can just drop off these first time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week. Have a great vacation. Come on, guys. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right in. <laughs> we gotta think of something. If he gives us an exam, we're goners. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Who have we got here today? An idea! An idea! Quick! Ah! Washington, Sam, Eugenie, and Sa That looks scary, huh? Can't I ever just get groomed in peace? Not for all. How oh, did wild animals even get an appointment with me? Deep breath, Doctor. Deep breath. <laughs> Where are the living stones, pets? <laughs> Some very distressing news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. <laughs> <coughs> and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? <laughs> Come on, lad, get it! It's your only chance! <laughs> Darn, it's all over. The old chap is too scared! Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those pet-eating beasts. Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby. <laughs> <gasps> Vladimir. But I... That's impossible, Velma. But you don't understand. I'm afraid, for dog's sake. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm a coward. Pull yourself together, Vladimir. You're pathetic. Victoria. <laughs> Up here. Do I know you? 
sorry. I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us! Animal Control have Sam Washington and Eugenie cornered, and, well, we need their costumes back where they've got us! <laughs> you, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the living zones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. Got you surrounded! You're going back to the forest! Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Wash. Remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... Here I am, and not a minute too soon! Oh. Oh. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! What's going on? We came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. <laughs> Don't throw the nets before we see the white of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! <laughs> Quick! The suits! The suits? <laughs> Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No, they were with you in the cage! You must be kidding! It was our very last chance! <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> hey. It was easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? No! 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Oh, you said they'd run away! Uh, yes, well, they did run away, but uh, this is where they ran to! Home sweet home! Looks like they were just missing you two! We, we miss, miss them, them too! I'm so glad our kennel could bring you closer together! I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch! Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> you know, honey? Yes, dear? Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a... Staycation? Exactly! What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. <laughs> Sam, less weird bear, more cat. <laughs> Better, now stretch! Good! Stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow! Hey, you two! Bug up! Catnam is for 
are real cats. Uh, I'm a real cat. Don't. The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Uh, hi, guys. Hi, what? <laughs> it's our uh, birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to come. Sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True, but we need more indoor pets with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having cheat cake. Party entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but they come too. We're a package deal. <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. Hey, you be careful. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away. Let them come. More presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before cake. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. <gasps> no sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> You've been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! Oops! <laughs> Thank you, Vic! We're gonna have shit cake! Do we get presents too? What about ice cream? Settle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. <laughs> Ready? And lift! <laughs> Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! <laughs> Master, come on! <laughs> Winner gets extra birthday cake! Yeah. <laughs> Victoria! You okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pure Class? <sighs>
you think, Sam? Yes, I mean it. It's almost dead. Ta -da! Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! 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 Lovely! I'm leaving for bingo! Don't fight! I'll be home soon! It's party time! Even more boring than last year, and that already was quite a challenge. I hope they love it! Well, it sounds perfect. Uh... <laughs> for you, neighbors! Oh, we'll take that. Get that! Box, which smells like uh, sidewalk. No, it's a throne, a beautiful throne. Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away. Get it out of here. <laughs> we hate our present. <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick, go find a new present. What? <laughs> Got this. You just enjoy. This is your day. Are we not, gentlemen? Ah! Are you guys nuts? Our lady will be home soon. But it's your birthday. It's customary. Fix it. Uh? Ah! Please, we just want to. Troublemakers, three crazed cats. Come on, let's get them. Where are they? Did they go get coffee? Oh, who cares? Run! Ah. Sam, let's go now. <laughs> It was just a little joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> you owe us a present. Well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Vic. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Tell me when to stop, okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Meow. Arf, arf. Oh, is Sam Sam arf, hungry? Arf. I thought I'd just opened that this morning. Uh, that'll be enough for you today. Enjoy your meal. Ten second view. Sam? Sam? Sam! Someone shrunk my costume. Someone shrunk it. Get back in your suit right now. If you don't, everybody will notice that you're not a cat but a big fat boar. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, Sam's costume doesn't fit anymore. Give me a hand, fast. <laughs> Sam, enunciate. Uh, I think he says I'm suffocating. <laughs> You've got to fight for your right to get back into costume. Come on! No, Sam! No, Sam! Master pal! Hey! Where are you going? Whoa, man. What's all the racket? Come on, Sam. Your training's not over. Well, I'll be. You. A pig that meows. Arf, 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 arf. Arf, 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 arf. It, go away with your weird bark. <laughs> I'm gonna get you out. We're going to hoist you over. Honey! Who wants a treat? <laughs> Hang on tight, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that toy. Good boy. Get it, honey bunch. Sam, what about your diet? You don't understand. You're just a skinny fox. I hate squeezing into my costume, and I like eating cookies. Huh? Ree, ree. Miss Treat likes the real me. But Sam, the warmth of a cookie can't compare to the warmth of a family. Well... There you go, honey bunch! <laughs> I'd rather leave than see any more of this. Farewell, Sam. Ah, there you are. But where's Sam? Sam? <coughs> Sam, you! No. Ah, Sam. Are you okay, boy? You look slim. Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Wow, Sam. You look slim and trim. Think it's me, Washington in disguise. How does Sam do it? It's exhausting. I need to take a break. Honey, where's Washington? 
Washington. Hmm? Washington? 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 Say you want ham, say you want lunch, there's only one name that's honey bunch. Say you want ham, say you want lunch, there's only one name that's honey bunch. Come here, honey bunch, my little lunch. <sighs> Looks like somebody's putting on weight. <sighs> Here we go, the diet talk. Well done, my friend. <clears throat> Enjoy. <clears throat> you can eat one more, can't you, piggy boy? <clears throat> this is great. <clears throat> Washington? Oh no! I'd rather leave than see any more of this. It's all my fault that he left. <laughs> this was his first birthday with us. I looked really cute that day. Maybe somewhere along the way, we stopped showing Washington how much we love him. Oh honey, you're great. It's me. I've been too wrapped up in my work. Group hug! <laughs> no cookie can compare to Washington, even if it is insanely, unbelievably delicious. Washington, you just hang in there. I'm gonna bring you back home. Honey? Honey Bunch! Where are you, ham to be? Oh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, you little piece of fat ham? Linda! Isn't that the nickname that lady gave to Sam? Honey Bunch? Yep! So that means Sam is gonna be on TV! Oh. Yes! Uh, no, not exactly. He's gonna be in the oven! She's gonna turn him into a big fat ham? No! Mm -hmm. oh. <sighs> Sam, come back! Come on, Vic. It's good karma. I think Victoria wants a cuddle, dear. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey bunch. Sam! <sighs> Washington, help! Let's go home, buddy. What's all that racket? No, man! <laughs> That's my costume. Not bad, right? Ah! Pastor Sam, she wants you for dinner. Come back here, honey bunch. The oven is preheated. <laughs> Pastor Sam, faster. Come on, I'm here for you, buddy. Focus. No, Sam. No, Sam. No, Sam. Faster. She's gaining on us. This is our chance. Yeah. <laughs> Big alley cat. 
Honey bunch? <laughs> A fox! <laughs> Stay away, varmint! Stay away! Oh, I'm sorry, Wash. I'll never be so selfish anymore. <sighs> Don't worry, Sam. The most important thing is that we're still best friends. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Honey, look who's home. Give me a hug, my sweet little doggy. P.U. Somebody smells like garbage. <laughs> P.U., you stink. Right. Okay. Starting now, it's all about motivation. New eating habits, new Sam. Yeah. Oh, Sam! New me! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Stubborn wild ones, you guys just don't get it. You're not supposed to be here. It's not natural. You're coming back with me to the forest where you belong. <laughs> ah! Save me! Save me! Stop, evil space dog! You will not take Princess Gracie from her peaceful planet. I'll fight you to the end to protect her. Woof, woof, woof. Row, woof. Uh, that's the most evil plan I've ever heard. <laughs> Awful. Freaky. Honey, don't worry. They'll be fine. You really think so? Of course. They did fine the last time we left them, and it's barely two days. They've got plenty of food and water. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> 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 You guys are gonna stay home the whole weekend by yourselves. Come on, honey. We can't miss our reservation. The oysters are calling me. We'll be back before you know it. You guys be good. Oops, the dry cleaning. Yes, Mrs. L. We'll pick it up and drop it off within 24 hours. Guaranteed. Oh, well, we won't be here tomorrow. Can you just drop it in the backyard? Backyard. Got it, Mrs. L. Yes! <gasps> Two whole days to relax, oh naturel! <laughs> Grossness! May I suggest you get these cleaned while you have the chance? The laundry guy will be here soon. <laughs> it's so bad I can't even see. <laughs> yeah, probably time <laughs> to freshen these up. Delicious! This is exactly what I've been dreaming of the last few weeks. And it's so romantic. Uh. Honey, I feel a little weird. Yeah, things are looking kind of strange. Go back home before it gets worse. Oh. oh, 
this is great. I forgot how much fun it is to scratch all day. Oh, yeah. Massive scratching. Yeah, you can scratch those hard to reach places. Yeah, it's nice to also be our normal selves a little bit too. <laughs> ah. Oh, you're right. To be wild without being in the wild. Yeah, we can be totally wild. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. What are you doing? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No, why? I thought maybe I was having a fever dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. We're just having some fun. Join us. Uh, no. House cats do not act wild. Oh, there's got to be a lioness in there somewhere. Oh. Come on, give me a big cat roar. Meow? That's all you got? Please. <laughs> oh, Vicky! Oh, that felt really good. Yeah! yeah. Wow, well, Vic! Vic. because I'm seeing crazy things right now. Really sick. Seeing things? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No. Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever oh. dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. I've got an idea. It's a long shot, but it's the only one we've got. We're gonna have to stall them as long as we possibly can until our costumes arrive. But also... They'll think it was all just a really weird fever dream. <laughs> Stop, evil villains! Unhand the princess! Help me! Help me! Ah! <laughs> Take me to your leader! I'm taking over the planet! Help me, help me! I'm help. a wild, wild lion, and you are my prey! I'm taking over your planet! See? You want to be wild? You're all coming back with me! To, to the, the forest, forest where you belong! Oh? Ah! Ah! Get back here! Oh! Ah! 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 We 
Wait a sec. This feels kind of real for a dream. <gasps> Guys, you carry the elves back to the bedroom. I'll distract Mitch and get him out of here. Hopefully before the laundry arrives. Because if the laundry man sees Mitch, he'll freak out and we might not get our costumes back. Hey, Mitch! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? I'm gonna get you! I finally got you! <laughs> Goodbye! Have a nice trip! in our house. What? Me too. But there were also weird spaceships and monsters in mine. Me too. Wild. <sighs> it was all just a crazy <laughs> dream. Oh, you smell just like a fresh pillow. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Is this the life or what? Seriously, can you imagine if we were still in the wild? <laughs> Sleeping out in the cold, scavenging for food. Hey, where's Vic? She usually rains on our parade about now. Don't you see, Bobby? Your favorite food is eggs, and I'm allergic to eggs. We can never be together. <laughs> I don't believe in love anymore. <laughs> Guys, Vic's getting all worked up over a stupid soap opera. Uh, well, I've got better things to do. I think I'll go chase a flying saucer. Let's go, Wash! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Washington, you are wearing me out, buddy. Arf, 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 arf. All right, one more. Flying saucer, flying saucer, flying saucer! <laughs> That's our cue. Inside, everyone. <laughs> hey, wait for me. <laughs> oh no, my suit. I've got to get it back before someone sees me naked. Hey, you, fuck. Quick, I need your help. Darling, before I met you, I was nothing more than an ordinary brain surgeon with an evil twin brother that stole my family's fortune. But now, I'm a man in love. Huh, why are you looking at me like that? Huh? I said, why are you looking at oh. me like that? Never mind, just help me hide. 
Hide? From what? <gasps> I could have sworn I saw that pesky fox dart this way. Don't worry, they won't have a clue we're back here. Beautiful ficus! Wow, yeah, but we better roll. What did you do to make those guys chase after you? Nothing. I just dug around in some trash cans and the humans got all mad. Oh, domesticated people are the worst. Well, actually, worse than a domesticated person is a domesticated animal. They are the absolute worst. Uh, you don't say. Yeah, they just lay around all soft and flabby, letting humans boss them around. Disgusting, right? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> My name's Meadow, by the way. Thanks for saving me. Anytime. I'm Washington. Well, Washington, I guess this means you're my hero, huh? Uh, uh, Honey? Oh. Have you seen the dog? I'll go check outside. Uh oh, <laughs> humans. That's my cue. Wait! Will I ever see you again? Maybe here, tomorrow, for dinner? It's a date. <sighs> I hope this feeling never goes away. You better scram too before that human and a stupid dog get here. Oh, I hate dogs. Gross. <laughs> yep, that feeling went away. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me not. What is wrong with you, flower? Loves not, loves not, loves not, loves not. Ah! Seems like you're pretty anxious about this girl, huh, pal? How can you tell? Just a feeling. It's hopeless. I can't keep up this charade. Once Meadow figures out I'm domesticated, she'll hate me. Oh, that's sad. Sorry, buddy. Can I say something here? I know, I know. You love that this is blowing up in my face. No, I was gonna say, don't give up. I mean, come on. You can't keep up this charade. Give me a break. You're the king of charades. Why are you being so nice to me? Uh, look, I don't like it either, but I need something to make me believe in love again, okay? Okay. Oh. Actually, you know, you're right. I'm me. Let's do this! <laughs> I think I see her! Hurry! How's the makeup coming, Susie? Yeah! He needs to look like he's been out fighting in the wild! Yep! Just one more touch! <laughs> wild! Not that wild! Boy! Boy! Everyone's a critic! We're not gonna make it! We're not gonna make it! We're not gonna make it! <laughs> ah! Actually, that looks incredible! I know! Okay! To your positions, everyone! Hello there. Wow. Hi. What happened to your face? Eh, got in a fight with another wild animal. I think it was a bear. Oh, I wonder how that bear got ketchup all over his paws. Well, I'm starving. I think I'll go use my wild animal foraging instincts and rustle up some grub. Be right back. Dinner is served. Where did you get all that? No big deal. Just found some berry bushes and a couple nut... trees. <gasps> oh, I love nuts and berries. Me too. I eat them in front of the TV all the time. Oh. TV? What are you talking about? And what are these? Uh, uh, candy almonds? From a candy almond tree? Uh, well, I... Uh, huh. Love hangs in the balance. We need to go right to the finale. You are acting very weird. Me? No, I'm not. How am I acting? Flying saucer! Flying saucer! Flying saucer! <laughs> Yee-hee! <laughs> what is going on? Look, the truth is, I'm... I... A wolf? No, I'm... Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, right! A wolf! 
Don't be afraid. I'll defend you with my wild beast defense skills. seen a wolf this deep in the city before. Oh, no! Shh. Glad we spotted him before he did any harm. I've got to stop them. Are you crazy? Don't go after those psychos to save a wolf. If they see a wild fox, they'll throw you in the van, too. You're right. But if I was a domesticated animal... What is that? I'm very sorry. I've been lying to you. I don't have an evil twin brother. I am the evil twin brother. Huh? No! Your mustache was the thing I loved most! Meadow, the truth is, while I'm a fox, I'm not a wild fox anymore. In fact, lately I've been living life as... a domesticated dog. What is that? I know you'll never want to see me again. I'm sorry. Love doesn't exist. What was that? Oh, look, an adorable dog! Ah, Where did you come from, little wolf, guy? Wolf, check his collar for an address. Yes, it's Washington. He's distracting them for us. Quick, Susie, grab the keys. Grab them. Oh, he wants to shake hands. No, Moose. Get it! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <Aww>. Oops! animals were soft, but after I saw what you did for your friends, I realized I was wrong. So maybe, if it's okay with you, we could have dinner again sometime. Yeah? I mean, uh, sure. That'd be cool. Okay, great. It's a date. Maybe you could pick some more food from that candy almond tree. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Stupid costume is killing me! Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a baked potato! 
I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Ugh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? This costume is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late. Left you extra kibble. Ouch. Sorry, hon. Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. Yippee! We're bad enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way! Oh, wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Living Stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinski. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh, that's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam! You're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costumes! <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. <laughs> I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no! How can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Huh? Mm -hmm. There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Or they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside Stark naked. I know that. Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got so uncomfortable, I can't wait! Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot! Isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Uh... Ah! Oh. Sorry, those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Ah. Now, Eugenie, no time for games. Bummer, because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah, they went that way. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <sighs> Oh, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never, ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. <laughs> Say what? Hey, are you all right in there? <laughs> you seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happen while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Yeah! <laughs> can't let them out of our sight. the forest now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is, like hide and seek. Catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? This time, there's no letting them get away. <gasps> what is that thing? It's funny. It looks like a dinosaur. Uh, I can't take any more of this. Who cares? You 
you the best costume ever. I promise I will never ever let you out of my sight again. <laughs> oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta-da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Now and then, a fox needs a little solo time. Speed <laughs> up! Oh, yay! Group walk. Wash, do we have a dog door or a cat mm -hmm. flap? Uh, well, technically. And why are there bird doors? Because generally, people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that! It's just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure you did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me. Hello, I'm a fox. We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were going to watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, Wash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> Any old dog can make a hole. Way to the living stone, see this! Look, you kid! The marathon is starting! Let's kick! Be in soon, buddy! <laughs> this is great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own. My man cave. Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. What is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up, and I ended up digging more than I expected. I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure. I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything.
Finally, a safe place to hang my photos. Ah, <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. What's he doing in that hole? Why does it just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Uh, come on. <sighs> Should have done this months ago. Down there. I lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow. It's a tunnel. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but very, very bad, bad dog. We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm at a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with your alone time. <laughs> Me? Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> what did you stop, Fluff? Let's go! We're stuck, dummy. We're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up! Push! No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget! I know, Fluff. I forgive you. We found an awesome bone wash! Okay, great! I'll leave it right here for you, Wash! Eugenie, Susie, come here, girls. Did you hear that? Must be the echo. Echo who? Huh? Hey! I have to get out of here. Fluffy may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little alone time? Best friendship reinstated. Yeah. <laughs> But we gotta dig! Lucky, lucky. It is you! Are you snooping? Shh. Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop! But don't touch anything! We're coming! Washington? No dig! No dig! Bad boy! We've got a digger! Digger, reveal yourself! Oh, and my kittens are missing! You've got to find them! Sam, get the girls and bring them back you know where. I need help. Fluffy, I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. 
Nugget, I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine. <laughs> Okay, guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! Just need a little break. Whoa! This place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> you're stuck. I mean, you're stuck. Help! No! First things first. What were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please, watch the turn. <laughs> okay, guys, get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy, nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Save the cats! That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy! Oh, thank you, Bannington. Waddington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich! Here it is. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? <sighs> I can't see anything except rain. That's what I mean. <clears throat> we're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That animal is a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash? Rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you Kidding. We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. And my nuts would fill with rainwater. Me, I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. No wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! Mercy, not as young as I used to be. Is this fun for you because it is not fun for me? Come on, Wash, where are you? 
almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? What are you? Honey, help! What's the matter? Washington won't go out. I don't know why he's acting this way. Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. one who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be big. Get out of Let's all go together. I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors, like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington? <laughs> but where the heck is that dumb dog? This ottoman can use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Oh, Washington! <laughs> what? I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner, tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. I can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. <laughs> Ah, not in your dreams, not in your imagination, not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine, you're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. <laughs> this is a mess. Is that a bone? <sighs> Sam, what are you eating? No, <sighs> no. It would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. What is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No oh, way, it's too tight. I need bathroom. 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 Stop! You can't fit in there. Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain! You've gone crazy! <laughs> Bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! <laughs> you know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait! This is where the humans go. I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. 
You can't. It's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. Great. You can discuss this further outside. <laughs> Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? <laughs> No, that can't be right. How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right, because I don't see how humans can use this room at all. Privacy! <laughs> Go take a hike! No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't just go out in the open like this! I can't do this to food! No! Oh. How can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice! I can't hold it anymore! Wash? <sighs> Washington? <laughs> but what are you doing, boy? Just look at that! That's amazing! This little fellow just learned how to go by himself now. What a clever dog. This really deserves a photo, dear. Sure it does. <laughs> See you later, boy. And don't forget to flush when you leave. <laughs> ah, free at last. And it's a beautiful day now. Hmm, I like the smell of the grass after the rain. Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's Alakazam, he doing? Alakazam. Oh, he's playing yeah. Fancy Fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. <coughs> Nuts. Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha. <laughs> I did it. It's amazing. I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like a good dig to remind me what it's like 
to be a bore. Know what I mean, Susie? Sure do. Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird. But you're a bird disguised as a bird. When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop. Holes are dangerous. You don't know what's down there. Fine. What are you guys doing? Watching Alfie. He's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> What is he doing with that bunny? I can't see! Eugenie, stop! You could get hurt! Or worse, really hurt! What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. When I remember to. Well, I don't need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Sam Alakazir! Whoa! Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh, you don't know the rules of fancy fetch at all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. Ah, sounds like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! <laughs> oh no! Bunny, I'm sorry! I don't know my own strength! Why? <laughs> Told you, he's a lunatic. Alfie! What happened? I I lost my bunny because I'm super strong and now all my friends will think I'm a bad magician, which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again! Cake! <laughs> hey, <laughs> is this your bunny? Yep, her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? Well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do? Make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. L. <laughs> rocks are stupid! Okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're gonna have the best day ever. We gotta rescue her! Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming, Vic? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's gotta stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless! We're so close, I can almost taste it! <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like dirty bus. Hurry up, guys! No time to sleep! We're, We're coming, coming for you, you Eugenie! Eugenie <laughs> <laughs> can fly! No, she can't! They're tossing her around! Yo! My baby sister's in danger! She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly! Well, oh, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny! You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers! Oh, hi, aren't you the cutest? I could hug you all day. So fluffy. <laughs> if Sam could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself. <laughs> you guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, so cute! <laughs> wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Eugenie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're gonna kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody in? Great. <laughs> We're almost there, buddy. Except for this locked fence. And humans everywhere. What do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates! Arr, Eugenie! Let's dig for treasure! Arr! Uh. Is she digging? 
She knows how I feel about home. It's going to be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh, no! Is she yeah. in a tree? You need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure. This is awesome. Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe. Eugenie, stop jumping. Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Susie, check it out. I'm in the tree. No way, me too. Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree this instant, young lady. Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Alfie's nice. Elfie must have given Eugenie a head injury because that's crazy talk. That's the last straw. We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. Shh! Hey, Bush. Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're going to blow our cover. What if someone hears you? They'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yeah! Welcome to Show and Tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, oh no! Where'd he go? No one move! He has a family! <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet, Ant. Oh, okay. Next up is, uh... The Amazing Alfie! I am the Amazing Alfie! <laughs> For my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear! <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat! Huh? <laughs> Now where are we going to get Eugenie now? Oh, no. This is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street. Wait! Where did she go? Huh? <gasps> where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great. My magic powers are stronger than I knew. Kids! He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back! Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie! You didn't disappear! Of course not, silly! I've just been hanging out in here! Check it out! <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Alfie made it! I was worried sick about you! And you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. Oh. <laughs> I guess you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my baby. <gasps> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever want. Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. We'll be accused of black magic. That's right, and you said he was nice. However, <laughs> oh, man, that's not fair. Look what you did. You ruined show and tell. Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazop. Magic, make those bushes stop. Awesome. The bushes were like poof, and the kids were like ah, but I say 
save the day. Watch. Alakazam, Alakazi! Magic, help me move that tree! Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive! It really is magic! That's it! Here we are! <laughs> you see? I told you it was useful to dig holes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's like a fluffy cloud, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Oh, honey, should we let them in the bed? Hmm. Victoria's already here. Don't you think one is enough? But look how sad they are. Fine. All aboard! <laughs> A little to the left, Washington. Uh, that's my arm, Sam. You can't sleep in my shirt, Eugenie. Okay. Come on. Good night. I was here first. Does that mean anything these days? Now, Vic, there's plenty of room. Just bend at the right angle and don't breathe. Too much. My tail isn't a sleep mask, Sam. It works great. Go roll in some mud. I had a dream that I was falling. Oh, I guess it wasn't a dream. That's okay. I often dream I'm flying. Good morning, sunshine. Oh. <laughs> Wait, honey, I'm going to prepare you another coffee. Is Mr. L okay? Hmm, the last time I saw him acting this weird was when Mrs. L told him her mother was coming to visit. Uh, hey, I must leave for work now. Bye, dear. I'm <laughs> leaving for something. Hey, did the door shrink? Huh, that can't be good. Where does he go every day? The park, silly. Bye-bye, honey. Have a nice day. From now on, only one pet is allowed to sleep in the bed. Okay, honey. We'll try it your way. Only one pet in the... <laughs> First one there wins. <laughs> yes! I win! Fair and square. I win. It looks a lot less scary in that big bed. I'm sure Vic will understand. It's a thunderstorm. Uh, I don't think so. I think she'll be really cool. <laughs> Just... Uh, that's it! Everybody down! Look at them. They're frightened. <laughs> Fine. But just for... Yay! Tonight. This was supposed to be my night, you bunch of fake furs.
about a rude awakening. get them thrown off my human's huh? bed. Uh, deal. Spot stealers, I'll show you. <laughs> hmm. Please. <laughs> she forgot we're protected by a shield of fake fur. Almost like superheroes. <laughs> An intruder with itching powder? No, it's even worse! Please! All right, you flea bags. There's no way I'm gonna let you ruin my night ever again. First, a great big dip in the flea bag. Hose him off, darling. There you go, Sam. Go and get dry now. Now it's bath time for Bunny. All righty, dear, your turn. You can say goodbye to your parasites, Eugenie. Now go dry off with Sam. And now for the leader of the pack. A good spring cleaning to get rid of these invaders. The most infested of them all. There you go, Washington. Susie? Uh, amazing. She's going all by herself. Sorry, guys. You'll have to stay in there all day until the flea dip takes effect. Relax and dry off. I hope we're all less itchy tonight. Yeah, get comfy, guys. I'll be inside on the bed some more. By myself. <laughs> you may have won this round, Victoria, but just wait. As soon as we dry off and get released, you are toast, lady. Toast? Toast? If you mean warm and dry and loved by all, yes, I am. Ha! See ya. Are they dry yet? Mr. and Mrs. L will be getting home. <gasps> code red! We got a code red! Everything all... Uh-huh. Meow? Did I just... Oh. Never mind. I haven't been getting enough sleep lately. Come on out, guys. This isn't working. I can't see a thing. Come on. Ooh. Give them one more chance. No, honey. They're just too dirty. Let's face it. Victoria is the only one who grooms herself on a regular basis. <gasps> <laughs> A lady always keeps her boudoir clean. Meow. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> this will never work. It doesn't stink enough. If only someone around here had a stinky litter box. Sam, what have you been eating? Anything. Now, we just need to make it look like it came from Victoria's box. Ooh, she's tracked cat litter all over the bed. Get out of here. What a crazy... <coughs> oh well, might as well join them. It's a little chilly in here. I'm gonna give you a blanket so you don't get cold. Too much fur. 
so toasty. Who needs snow suits in the sun? <sighs> I gotta find some nice cool mud to sleep in. Good idea. Fly that boar flag. She didn't wake up. What, Sam? I was having a dream. <laughs> huh? Huh? Shh! I know. Shh. Uh, just need some water. Hey, guys. Huh? <gasps> ah! Ah! Whew, that was close. What a beautiful night. Let's sleep on the chairs. Uh -huh. <gasps> That's enough. Win some, lose some. Come on, Dick. There's plenty of room here. 